I'm Glenn Lowry, director of the Museum of Modern Art. Well, I thought a lot about what my favorite Cindy Sherman work was, and actually it's quite complicated because there are so many of her images that are seductive and that I'm attracted to. But when I started thinking about which image is most seared into my memory, it's actually one of the works that I find most repellent and disgusting, and it's untitled 263. It's one of those strange images that fuses uh, male and female genitalia. And it doesn't do it in a way that is erotic or that might even be pornographic. It does it in a way that it makes you, at least if you're uh, a male, feel creepy in part because the female genitalia are actually in ovulation. You see a tampax and then you see this incongruous male penis above it. At the same time, what attracts me to it, what makes me keep coming back to it, is that I think it cuts to the essential Cindy, which is a slipperiness of identity. It's just one little chromatic gene that differentiates male and female. And here they're played out at their most exaggerated and extreme. You have this duality, the repellent idea, or at least the creepy idea of this hermaphroditic ceiling of images, and then the recognition that it's a fiction, that actually these are not real body parts, they're models. And in that kind of rawness, you actually also can understand the way in which we construct our notions of identity. I think it's one of those images that makes you really uncomfortable, uh, but it also makes you think a great deal. Uh, it's not the kind of image you'd actually want to have in the middle of your dining room, but it might be an image you'd have somewhere else in the house. Courbet's origin of the world, an image that must be behind this, at least for Cindy, that great erotically charged sensual image that for, you know, almost a hundred years has lived in the imagination of anyone who's thought about uh, sexuality and eroticism uh, in art. And yet at the same time, I think what she's done is to totally deconstruct that. And in fact, if you look closely at this image, on the left and the right, as if fractured from the human form, you have two heads, one male, one female. And I think it's the breaking apart of that image and the fusing together of that image that really gives it its essential shape and form, intellectually as well as visually. And that is what she's all about, how these ideas of identity are put together, broken apart, and reconstructed. I think Cindy has emerged over the last 35 or 40 years as one of, if not the most important artist working today. Uh, and I think her work, which is consistent, but always fearless, always surprising, uh, is work that needs to be seen uh, in a large scale, in a serious retrospective that allows a public to understand the complex trajectory she has made from the groundbreaking work she did in the mid and late 1970s to the absolutely fascinating work she's doing today. She is an artist who continues to push herself and to explore the boundaries of her practice.